General Grievous and his battle droid army have established a massive fortress in the side of a mountain. Captain Rex has been alerted to this position and is now ready to siege the fortress and take out General Grievous once and for all. He's brought Fives and Echo along with him to flank the fortress and open up a second front for this battle. Despite their preparations, the clones could still be ill-prepared for this, as the defenses are extreme. Ayo, hey, what's cracking gamers? It's your boy, Daily Tactics here, and today I am back with some more Men of War Assault Squad 2, the Star Wars Galaxy at War mod. And in today's video, we're revisiting an old map we haven't played on in a really, really long time, actually. Uh, this fortress uh, in a mountain map, basically. Yeah, we've not done this in like probably a year's time, so I thought it was about time we brought it back. And who better to bring it back with then General Grievous himself and Captain Rex over here, baby. That's right, an old school rivalry from the Clone Wars days. So we have phase one, 501st clone troopers sieging the fortress uh, from this side. They have three TX-130Ss um, and they're going up against some AT cannons as well as some beam turrets and there's also a J1 cannon over here too. Uh, but then on this side of the battlefield, uh, Fives and Echo are bringing up a small division of troopers uh, to attack this side over here uh, and open up a second front for Captain Rex and the boys. So it should be a really exciting battle. If you guys do enjoy it, please be sure to hit that like button. Let's try our best to get a thousand likes in the first 24 hours. It really helps me out in the algorithm and I have to thank you guys so much for helping me with that subscribe if you have not already we're working our way towards 400,000 subscribers and I'm so excited to hit that and comment down below if you'd like to see some more zany Clone Wars battles like this in the future either way guys let's get it going What's up gamers? I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton so thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to instant gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel Alrighty then gamers let's go ahead and press start we're starting in slow-mo per usual here so we can see the full start of the battle either way lots of outgoing fire from the clone troopers but they're also taking a decent amount of incoming fire as well the incoming fire doesn't have to be nearly as accurate because the clones are so bunched up together compared to the droids here, so they don't have to really uh, fire as much, the droids that is. Either way, uh, some massive losses for the droid sides right off the bat here. Beam turrets firing out, trying to connect some shots against these clone troopers, and those AT guns also firing out a good bit here. A number of clone troopers already going down on the battlefield. TX-130S is also taking some intense fire at the very beginning of this thing as well so this is a brutal battle of large capacity right here and it's not even at the main event which is of course going to be the fortress siege over here that is basically going to be the pinnacle of this battle and up until that we've just got some nice little appetizers for us here number of dead clones on this little grassy knoll over here absolute brutality this tx-130s firing off this way which is kind of interesting uh why don't you target your own hillside there are two tx-130s's over here for this side of the hill i i, I don't know it just seems really really bizarre the at guns are not targeting the tx-130s's but rather they're actually targeting the clone trooper infantry so a bit of a strange strategy there but it is leaving a number of uh, clone trooper infantrymen dead on the ground currently so it is uh, you know working out fine and we should probably go ahead and check on our trooper fives and echo over here um and it seems like i don't actually see them anywhere <laughs> um i don't know do you guys see them where where are these boys Dude, what? Where are they? Am I blind? Oh, there's one. 
It's like kind of half in the mountain there. That's got to be... Oh, that's that's fives. Where's Echo? There's Echo right there. Okay, so they are still alive, actually, and kicking. A number of their troopers have died, actually, over here, but they've taken out this first blockade here. Uh, they're working on another beam turret over this way and another blockade over here. Uh, and these troopers are... Looks like taking some snipes at them as well. Sorry, my dog's in the background playing with a bone. Everyone in, in, in the comment section say, Hello, Scout! Enjoy your bone! I'm sure he will appreciate that greatly as he hears it. Um, either way, back over on this side over here. It looks like one of these AT guns has gone down. The other one's still kicking right there. And there's also a number of droids still alive here as well, which is going to be pretty pretty tough for the clones as these droids clearly have some pretty good positions considering the fact that they're not dead yet at this juncture in the battlefield also both of these at cannons still alive as well and this beam turret over here the right side over here for the clones has been taking an absolute beating one of the tx 130 ss is in fact on fire with its shields down so that is not a good thing either all right let's go into normal speed here as this battle continues to ramp up grenades getting thrown by the battle droids right now lots of explosions going off here this is absolute insanity right now as these clones crest up to the side of the hill this is some brutality if i've ever seen it one of the at cannons going down over there but this other one still firing point blank into clone troopers here as some of the clones own tx 130 s's are firing into these droids as well they try to grenade this thing but the grenade gets launched by another explosion but finally that at gun does end up going down and this mountainside is now Finito. Uh, we've also got this mountainside doing a bit of a last stand defense on some clones. It looks like they took out a lot of clones in the process right there, but inevitably the clones did manage to take that over. All right, let's head back over here to Fives and Echo and see what they're up to. Um, it seems like they are uh, still kicking with a few troopers, but just not that many. And once again, I have lost Fives and Echo. Without their Arc Trooper armor, they're very, very difficult to find in these battles. I, I must say, it does become a bit of a challenge. Is this them over here? I believe it is. Yeah, yeah. I think they're they're swimming in the river right now. Yep, they are. Okay. You do you, guys. You do you. Either way, we do have the assault on the compound here finally starting the super fortress defense is getting enacted here and already a number of clone troopers who are attacking through these trees over here are dying to incoming fire although they are pushing forward and they will be getting more and more troopers up into these positions as they go the droids have to have some sort of thermal vision going on right now because i have no idea how they can see these clone troopers through this dense dense forest that they're dealing with right now it is it is a peculiar sight to see these droids absolutely nail clone troopers through a forest when we can't even see the clone troopers through this forest. But there they are, the clone troopers. They must be using some sort of thermal vision. Either way, lots more clones dying over here, but more fire output is going out to the droids over this way. In fact, the first of the rampart droids here dying. There's also more clones attacking over from this away. However, they are going down in swaths. That is some brutal fighting right there. Clones are getting deeper into the forest and firing out. We've got a VATR 25 soldier right here firing as well at some of these battle droids and actually the uh what is this j1 cannon is it d1 or j1 i think it's j1 right i believe it, it exploded i believe a tx 130 uh, s must have hit that thing with some sort of explosive fire and just absolutely decimated that sucker also more droids over here are going down as incoming clone trooper fire begins to knock them down pretty aggressively there is an entire blockade of droids though over here on the right side still kicking and still doing a grand job and strangely enough all goes quiet in almost an instant right there there's still some clones left alive over this way, uh, so they can move forward. And there's uh, Fives and Echo right there, <laughs> still crawling ahead. Um, there's also a number of droids back here, too. And there's two beam turrets. So, uh, you know, not all of this fire should be stopping, but there we go. Finally, we're getting some more fire out here as the clones revamp their attack. I do have to say this kind of, like... Uh, forest assault is, is kind of cool to see. It's it's difficult to see, but it, it is kind of cool to see glimpses of clones moving through the trees and things like that. There's a number of dead bodies within the trees as well, but the clones are finally on the doorstep of the battle droid army here and having to deal with this double... Uh, 
beam turret action that's going on right here. They take out one of those beam turrets, and there goes the second one right there. Additionally, these rampart troopers are having to deal with soldiers from the left as well as head on right now, and it's resulting in a number of them going down. They have a number of snipers, though, and machine gunners here, too. Uh, so maybe they can go ahead and get some more clone trooper kills before they all get wiped out at this point in the battle. They're, they're doing okay, but still probably not enough uh, to actually secure a victory here. A, a ton of clone troopers have died on this battlefield, but it's still going to take a lot more for the droids to get a victory here. Um, I'm maybe thinking that the last stand defense here might be able to do something about that because there's a good solid number of troopers here ready to defend general grievous with a tight choke point to go along with it uh but a lot of the droids in the uh, fortress itself have gone down there's still this nice firing brigade right here uh that seems to be just starting to get into some action in this battle uh but is it going to be enough only time will tell here clone troopers fully entering on into the bridge here a number of them are dropping to the ground as more incoming fire strikes out against them, uh, but it seems like they are taking less losses than at the beginning of the battle. I mean, at the beginning of the battle, they were getting their salads tossed, boys. There's a lot of dead clone troopers over here. A lot. Uh, yeah, especially over here. <laughs> it was absolutely brutal. But now, as the battle has gone down, they have started to lessen the rapidity. Is that a word? Rapidity? The rapidness, I guess. <laughs> no, I'm going with the rapidity. It's a fun fun thing to say try saying it rapidity <laughs> all right the rapidity of clone deaths has been lessened as <laughs> the longer the battle goes on what am i talking about dude either way first of the clone troopers coming up over this bridge area here he's taking some shots from some droids behind uh, these weird little pod things are these supposed to be escape pods or those droid deployment pods i'm not totally sure but um either way that trooper is uh, managing to proceed forward. How is this one soldier managing to move so far forward against so many droids when, like, everyone else in the totality of this battle has just been absolutely walloped? I'm not entirely sure if these droids could actually even fire down at this bridge area here. It seems like they can't. It seems like the angle is too steep for their weapons to fire over it. So, actually, I think they're going to be just about useless here. Oh, uh, there's, like, a little bit of fire coming out from some of them, but not a lot. So, yeah, this... This could just be a useless position now for the droids. Maybe they can get some grenades off, but they're certainly not firing. The clones are managing to uh, get some decent shots on them. It is a tough shot to make, certainly for the clone troopers here, uh, because it's just such a weird angle. Um, but maybe the clones will grenade these guys. Maybe the droids will grenade the clones. Who knows what will happen. The clones actually going up against a lot of these droids right here right now uh, and managing to kill all of them right there. Well done. Additionally, the final assault on the last of the little compound bit over here is going on. Number of droids holding out and firing at the clones. However, the clones are suppressing them a little bit and also managing to return some good fire at these droids too, uh, which is negating the droid position a little bit here, just a wee bit. Grenades are being thrown from these droids up here though, and it's actually connecting with a lot of clones down here. That is, that is brutal right there. Plus, the droid over here just firing and spamming some fire out. Oh, he did end up going down, but that droid was doing some work as well. Another droid trying to hit this guy over here. It's just not working out for him. Clones yet again starting to fire out this way. Another grenade going down on the troopers that already got grenaded, and I think that's going to be about it for those troopers right there. They were lucky enough to survive the first blast, but the second one, not going to be so lucky. Oh, there was a push here by the clones. Um, it looks like they managed to take out one droid. One droid is like becoming their prisoner right here which is bizarre another grenade goes off over here what the heck dude clones are really struggling with just finishing off this battle oh that droid gets killed what is happening here all right the glitchy glitch glitch has started <laughs> why don't you guys just kill this droid come on people oh my lord all right, this is when, when Galaxy at War gets a little bit pathetic at the end of the day. Um, somehow, these droids up here still surviving. It is absurd. Absurdity, I tell you. Absurdity. My goodness. All right, well, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. There's still three droids over here, actually, too. Another grenade going off. I don't think that one got any kills. Uh, oh my god, they're grenading these guys over here. The clones are trying to, like, flank up this way to actually shoot these droids, but struggling. Another grenade! Oh my lord! These droids up here, man! Just doing it all, and this droid kills that trooper right there! What the heck, dude? 
Holy cow! More grenades going off out there. How many more grenades do you guys have? Oh, that droid did end up going down right there. You guys can't have any more grenades, right? Like, like actually, though, right? This guy, no more grenades. This guy, one grenade. Yeah, he's got grenades. These guys have grenades. What the heck? Another grenade going out now. What? Oh my god. Cease your hostilities, droids. They've had enough. You've beaten the crud out of them. Just give them the victory at this point. They're so embarrassed, probably. They're probably so embarrassed by their performance. My goodness, we've actually got another clone trying to make a play for General Grievous. He's just going up there. He tried to do the melee on Grievous, but Grievous gets saved by his bodyguard right there. What the heck? Another grenade going out over this way now. And they're still grenading from over the top over here. That was not the best grenade, but it did injure that guy at the very least. What is happening? Are these droids about to win this thing by, like, pure grenades only? They they probably can't. I mean, there's there's only so many grenades they have. Another clone trooper over here dying in the final stand area over that way. Another grenade! What the heck, dude? What is this? What is happening? It's just absurd. And the clones are super struggling with taking these droids out. It's so funny. Clones have not once tried grenading back either, which is just crazy. It's crazy. What the heck, dude? All right, let's go in fast speed for a little bit here. This is some absurdity to the highest degree. Another grenade. And General Grievous is just chilling over here. It seems like the clones are so angry that these droids are still alive that they're just completely ignoring General Grievous at this point and completely going after these guys. Oh, by the way, there's Echo. Very fun. It's good to see he's still alive. He never got grenaded, apparently. Oh, my God. All right, and the battle still goes on here. Oh, whoa! Oh, General Grievous went down! No, that's the folly of being in fast motion. General Grievous got beaten down, actually, by a clone trooper right there. So, technically, Captain Rex has succeeded in his mission, but there's still three droids here and four droids here. So, why don't we just continue to fast motion until these guys die, I guess. Oh, man, it's kind of a shame we didn't get to see that, but that's all right. Oh, maybe a Teeks with 30T is going to come forward? No, maybe not. All right, the clones... Seems like they have decided to just full send it over this way. And they take out those three droids with little to no problems. Um, there's still these four over here. I mean, like, are they ever going to die? Ever? I don't think they have any more grenades. They, they must not. <laughs> We're just going to go in fast motion until these four droids die. <laughs> or all of the clones die. Whichever comes first. They're so suppressed. I don't even know if they can be hit, though. Oh, grenade! Finally! The clones use a grenade! There's only one droid remaining. Let's go! The clones, they use their brains for once! Holy cow, this is a revolutionary moment in Star Wars Galaxy at War Mod, and this guy flanks and just kills the last droid right there. So, the clones do manage to win, but they took so many losses in doing so. So, red are dead clones, yellow are dead droids. Um, the droids, uh, killed so many clone troopers, and remember, explosions usually delete, uh, bodies too, so there's probably a lot more dead clones and droids throughout this battlefield that we just can't see anymore, uh, but I mean, the, the droids did amazing during this battle, I have to say, really, really impressive stuff, but the clones still managed to clutch the victory. Uh, good for Captain Rex. All right, guys, that's going to be about it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you have not already. And comment down below if you'd like to see some more in the future. All right, bye, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content. And hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.